welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is Saturday. It is Saturday morning in New York City, so this is going to be another weekend in my life in New York City vlog. Right now, I am on my way to a nail salon. My nails are still the ones that I did for the summer, which are like little fruits, which are so cute, but at least three of them are chipping, so I want to get them done. And I'm going to this place, which is like a well-kept secret, I think, because they do $45 for a regular, uh, for a gel manicure and a regular pedicure, which is such a good deal. I haven't been able to find any place else that does a good job that only costs that much. And so I don't have an appointment or anything, so I'm just gonna see like if they can take me. For the summer bright pink for the summer it's very cute normally I wouldn't go for this bright of pink if it was like I don't know fall or winter or something but I just feel like it's fun and I like to sometimes have fun with my nails and it just puts me in a good mood and I'm gonna see my friend later and then I'm gonna see another friend for dinner so it's just fun to like you know feel like you have your nails done I also just got an iced matcha latte so I'm cooling down it's 90 degrees in the city today I maybe I should Hang on, let me do a little outfit of the day. Okay, outfit of the day is this top from Dish. I shared this on my vlog, the Hamptons vlog. I'll put it up here. It was, I went out to the Hamptons for the weekend and I came back and I did a little dish haul and I got this top and I just think it's so cute. It's linen, which is the perfect material for the summer because it's so breathable. You get it wet, it doesn't matter. It gets a little bit wrinkly though, but whatever. And then it has a cute little tie in the back and um, I'm just pairing it with this pair of white Zara shorts that I've had forever. And But it would be cute with like any white pair of shorts that's the same, similar tone of white. But yeah. And then sneakers because <sighs> New York is a closed toed shoe city, for sure. So I've trained in uptown. I'm on the Upper East Side now. I'm walking to go meet my friend. And what's cool today, and I noticed that downtown too, is that a lot of the roads are closed off today, so it's just open to bikes, people who are biking or running or walking, I guess, but it's really just a lot of people biking, which is a cool thing that they do every so often in the city. It's just nice to like have more space to use the roads and, I don't know, just chill on a summer day. day was really fun really nice to catch up with my friend and just walk around and just you know have a nice Saturday we got like a cold drink I got like a lemonade at Ralph's and then we just walked up and down Madison Avenue and just looked at some shops I did get one thing a skincare thing which I'm going to show you guys later but for now, I'm about to head out and get dinner with my friend Ashley. We're going to Principe, which is a seafood place, and I love seafood, she loves seafood, so we're really excited about this place. I'm just gonna wear the same outfit that I was wearing earlier today, but just switch my shoes <laughs> to be dinner ready. Earlier I was wearing white sneakers, and then I just transitioned to little muled heels. 
and I love an outfit that you can just take from day to night this one I feel like you totally can it's also really hot out <laughs> and raining and everything so I just don't feel like changing either but what I like about this is that I feel like it's one of those outfits that you can just wear in so many situations. So I'll definitely link this top and then you just can wear it with any pair of white shorts that you have. And uh, yeah, it's really cute. So I'm excited to have a nice dinner and see my friend Ashley. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heartbeat. It is Sunday now. I had a really lovely evening, evening last night with my friend Ashley. We went to Principe or Principe. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, but it's a seafood place in Soho right on West Broadway off of Houston. And it was really good. It was nice vibes in there. Felt like a little sophisticated. We went at eight o'clock and didn't leave until like, 10 30 ish and by that time people did start kind of clearing out but there was still a decent amount of people there and we really enjoyed everything that we got i just posted a picture on my instagram stories with all my recommendations but my recommendations are the caesar salad just because it's a very unique caesar salad that sounds like such a basic recommendation but instead of lettuce they used shredded snow peas so they were like thin and long and it just had this, uh, Ashley was calling it a spiciness, but we realized it's not spicy, it's just spice kind of flavor. I don't like things spicy, it's not spicy, it's just more flavorful, very, very unique. And then we got both the rock shrimp and the caviar spaghetti. The rock shrimp pasta was my favorite out of those two. Just the flavors were really good and like buttery and uh, seafoody. And then the caviar pasta was also very good too. There was a lot of caviar on it. And so that, so if you like caviar, you would like this. The beurre blanc sauce, something about it, there was like one little thing off. I couldn't put my finger on it, but it was also really good. But I just like the rock shrimp better. So if you're choosing between the two, I would recommend the shrimp one. And then for dessert, we got this, these two like pineapple popsicles with tahini on top. There's like fresh pineapple inside and they're just really good. So anyways, I would recommend that place for sure. Today's Sunday, I have no plans today. I'm actually very excited about it because all weekend so far I've had plans and I've been hanging out with friends and being very social. So now I'm like, ah, oh, I just kind of want to have a chill Sunday, hang out with Lyle and uh, just, you know, I'm going to go grocery shopping in a little bit, maybe make some breakfast and just <laughs> kind of hang out. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know how much, I, I feel like I might not have updated you guys fully on what, what I've been up to, but yesterday I walked around the Upper East Side with uh, my friend Ezgi, who was really nice, and we just checked out the shops. We got like a cold beverage, like I got a lemonade, and I think I forget what she got either like a matcha or a chai tea or something. And we just like walked along and did some like shopping. I didn't buy anything except for a refill of my Bioderma micellar water because we went into Zitomer. And then one exciting skincare thing from Zitomer that I'm going to try later with you guys. I've heard a lot about it and I'm very curious. So I'm going to try that later tonight when I do my skincare routine for bedtime. And <laughs> for bedtime. And with my friend during the day, I was with a different friend during the night. The night before that, I was with different friends. So yeah, I feel like I've just been, it's been a very like girlfriend's weekend. Like just hanging out with the girls, like, you know, I don't know, talking, having a good time. There's something so therapeutic about being with other girls and um, just like talking about our lives and helping each other figure stuff out um, that we're going through. It's uh, really special to have like really good friends. So very grateful for the friends that I have in my life. And uh, yeah, like I said, today's just gonna be a chill day. So I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simple. 
this feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know doing laundry and folding laundry and just kind of doing stuff around the house and all of a sudden it started to get very dark outside and it's like the late afternoon right now so it shouldn't be dark yet because <laughs> it's still summertime and I look and there's the most ominous clouds oh the camera doesn't really oh yeah you can kind of tell but they look even darker in person just like getting just like a cloud going over the city I think it's about to start Boring. I definitely just saw a lightning flash. This looks so ominous and crazy. So anyways, it actually looks like someone just turned the lights down outside. It's really, really kind of eerie. Anyways, <laughs> I've been sitting here because I just made an Amazon storefront. So uh, a couple people have been asking me, not like a ton of people or anything, but I've gotten a couple of requests to make an, an Amazon storefront and it's always been something in the back of my mind because I do link to a lot of Amazon products, just like little things here and there that I buy. And I usually link to them. Now I have three different idea lists. <laughs> I'll show you what I did. So basically it looks like this. I've got my little picture and the background is here in Soho. And then and then these are my, my three idea lists I have. Fashion, City Girl Necessities, and Beauty Favorites. So I will figure out how to link that in the description box so you guys can check that out. <laughs> we got Chinese food for dinner. I feel like this is a very New York thing. Like I always pictured people, like well in movies and shows and stuff, they'd always like <laughs> order in Chinese food. I've been watching the Olympics. <laughs> I love that it's in Paris though. I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm sorry for the Olympics in the background, but there's a rainbow outside. That is so fun, it's like a perfect circle. I guess because it was just raining. And now it's sunny out. Hello, <laughs> so it's towards the end of the day now. I'm winding down. I just had dinner and I'm going to do my skincare routine. However, I am going to try a new product. So I mentioned this before. This is called the Earthen Instant Peel, the exfoliant. It's six single use packets. It basically comes in this greenish, bluish, turquoise, I guess, shiny box. And this is the product that at Zitomer they're always raving about. They always have them up at all the front counters and the sales associates are always trying to sell you on it. They're always saying like the Victoria's Secret models always come in and buy these and things like that. It kind of seems like it's my guess is that it was something that was bigger maybe like years ago it was a big thing. But now it's not. This was not cheap. This is $70 for six packets. So let's see if this good. This is good, but 
every time I've gone in there, they've been raving about it. And I think I actually have heard some like TikTok videos and stuff of people talking about it. So let's see if it's good. Here is one of the packets. Derived of natural ingredients for use on the face and body. Peels off dead skin and impurities, revealing healthy, glowy skin. Okay. So there are directions on the back. What she told me to do, the sales associate in the store, she said to wet my face and neck and decolletage with warm water and then to apply this and then rinse it off. So this says steam skin for approximately five minutes until the skin is moist and supple. Squeeze a small amount of instant peel onto fingertips, apply to desired area, immediately massage and area firmly with back and forth motion peeling process begins oh my gosh continue motion until peeling ceases instant peel only peels away dead skin cells and does not recognize living skin cells <laughs> okay that's good move to next area and repeat rinse thoroughly if there's any remaining residue remove with gentle soap and water discard packet i think she said afterwards to get a washcloth and to get it off with that so i'm going to do what she said which basically aligns with this but first i'm going to remove my makeup with my bioderma micellar water as always on a cotton pad so i usually actually exfoliate on sunday nights anyways that's like my routine is sunday night i exfoliate Monday night I retinol and then all the other nights I do my hyaluronic acid. That's like my skincare weekly night routine. Okay, so that's done. The makeup is off. I'm gonna wet my skin with warm water. I just wet my, <laughs> I'm just gonna wet my face and my neck. So, oh, okay, it's a liquid. I don't know why I was expecting it to be like a powder. Okay, I'm not feeling anything peeling off, but it did say, oh, actually, I feel like I can kind of see it. It did say to do it in sections, so maybe I should do that. Maybe I just don't have a lot of dead skin because I exfoliate every week. <laughs> I'm just like taking more and more of it. It doesn't feel rough or anything. It's kind of smooth. It's not like soft. It's very messy though. Let's do the forehead. Okay, I can feel a little bit. Oh, I can feel, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you can see, but I could definitely feel dead skin coming off on the side of my face there. And here too, you kind of have to press down a little hard. Maybe that's, oh my gosh, oh my, you have to press, I figured it out, you have to press down. Cause now look, you can see like where it's coming off. Okay, you just have to press down kind of hard in a back and forth motion. Wow. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, my nose is like crazy. Sorry if this is gross. Oh, that's like so intriguing. Okay, it doesn't really work on like the softer skin. It's more like the harder areas like my nose. Oh, I feel like this is like a facial in a packet. Okay, not what I was expecting. All right. I just decided to do <laughs> my neck and my chest now. Cause now I'm like really, really intrigued by this product. <gasps> oh my gosh. I can feel so much dead skin coming off. This is actually crazy. You guys, my mind is like blown right now. What the heck? Okay, I just wet a washcloth. I'm just taking it off now. Okay, so that was wild. My skin, I've never felt it feel this smooth in my life. That is so insane. And I, the, so like the exfoliator, Later that I normally use is this Paula's Choice one, which is good too, but it doesn't, it's not the same as this. This is like the dead skin is just gone. That is so crazy. My chest is a little red though, so I think I scrubbed it a little bit hard, but I feel like you wouldn't need to do this often. This is like a once every, like, like once a month maybe, or like once every other month or something. Like it's not something that I think you need to do often, but I, my mind's just blown. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my skincare routine. I'm going to cleanse my face. I use the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. So I feel like when your skin is exfoliated, like any products that you put on afterwards, uh, almost like penetrate better into the skin because there's not all that dead skin in the way, like keeping it. 
Okay, then for my toner, I'm going to use the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I always shake this up and just do a couple of spritzes. Oh, it's like so refreshing. And it's kind of uh, cooling and calming too, which I feel like is nice after something a little bit abrasive like an exfoliant. And then I am going to go in with the Hyaluronic Acid Serum because I just feel like I need to restore my skin now and hydrate it after probably stripping it a little bit with the exfoliant. I use The Ordinary, by the way. This is, I love this because it's, it's basically the same formula as the Glossier one, but it's like less than half the price. Same ingredients. <laughs> and then I love the Aven Cold Cream as my nighttime moisturizer. You know what, I might actually do an eye cream tonight too. My nighttime eye cream is the Dior one. This is the Capture Total Cell Energy. I picked this up at Bloomingdale's. I'm gonna need to do another European trip soon so that I can stock up on all of my like products that I can't get here. These two specifically, I cannot find. We have Caudalie, we have Ven, but we don't have these two products. This cold, this cold cream specifically, it's gotta be this one. And then this facial sunscreen for the mornings. I'm like hoarding them. Making sure I don't run out. Okay, so it's time to end the vlog now. The weekend is over. The work week starts tomorrow. I know this vlog was on the shorter side compared to some of my other vlogs, but it was really just because a lot of the time was spent with friends, and I, you know, don't want to put in the camera in any of my friends' faces. But uh, yeah, I feel like I still got to show you guys a lot. Um, but yes, a lot of time spent with friends. So it's a short one this week, but I'm sure the vlog that's coming next week will be much more fulfilled with stuff because my friend Jessica is coming. She's going to stay for the weekend here in New York and we always get up to all the most girly things. So I'm sure that that'll be a really fun vlog and make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss that and follow the fashion squirrel as well over on instagram and hopefully i will see you guys next time okay bye